Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher. In today's short video, I believe I'm going to discuss these various reference books that might be used by machinists or draftsmen or engineers or anyone interested in mechanical things. So, in a recent video, you will notice that Adam Booth gave away several of the handbooks to uh, lucky recipients. And uh, I do have machinery handbook here, but there are other books that are probably equally as good, even though they're probably out of print. So let me spend a little time talking about these books. Now, this isn't exactly bedside reading, <laughs> but, but when you need this information, you really need it. So let's get started. Machinery's handbook is probably the most popular one, as I just said. And here's some different editions. Here's a real old one from... 1942, that's the 11th edition. This one probably was used by someone uh, developing the B-29 or the B-17. And here's a more recent one, although even that's almost 40 years old, the 22nd. I don't know what the current issue is, but whatever edition you use is probably going to be good enough for what you do in your basement. There are plenty of these available on eBay and used... Uh, bookstores and so on, and you might find some in the libraries, public libraries, although most of these books that didn't get used a lot were uh, disposed of at library book sales, so they had more room for DVDs and a coffee shop. Probably, if you own this book, 90% of it you will never use. There are a lot of tables and a lot of mathematics and uh, things like that in there. And even I, it being 75 years old, I bet I've only used a small number of pages out of this book. But it is nice to have this information available when you need it. And you can see these pages are unsoiled. So, And this is available Kind of like a Bible. You get different editions of it. <laughs> they even sell a collector's edition now, where you got the thumb index like you would get with a Bible to find the different chapters of the Bible, uh, different books, I mean. So, uh, you know, get yourself one of these. These are also available online, probably for a subscription or on a DVD. I don't like them. I like a paper book. I like the feel of it. I like the smell of it. I like the availability of it. And I'm pretty sure that everyone in the Western Hemisphere knows what the middle drawer is for in these toolboxes. And in the Gerstner boxes, I think the book sits upright. And that's where you keep machinery's handbook. And there's a hole down here in the bottom. I'm not sure you can see it. That allows you to push the book up because it's a pretty tight fit. There were probably many other reference books besides the ones that I have here that would be in libraries. But this, I believe, was the chief competition uh, with Machinery's Handbook, American Machinist Handbook. That's the 8th edition. That's McGraw-Hill, and that is a 1945 uh, edition, quite uh, worn out and shot. But again, a lot of math in there, a lot of tables, all of your trig tables, but there's also good pictures in there regarding, uh, well, what is that, grinding, boring, turning, So try to find yourself one of these books. Probably three-fourths of them have been thrown out. But this is a good one, too. Some of you have probably heard of Mark's Handbook, and this is a 1951 edition. Again, it's geared a little bit more toward engineering, I suppose. McGraw-Hill also. And that won't fit into that drawer. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in, in size, but it's about equal thickness and a, a wonderful reference. So keep your eye open for one of these at used book sales because you probably get it for 75 cents. I can't go through every page, but let me just show you a sample of the uh, table of contents close up. I hope I'm not breaking the copyright law by showing you this, but let me just scan down the second page of the table of contents here and you can see what it consists of. And you will notice that this looks much more like a physics or engineering book than what it does a machinist book. Especially when we talk about vectors and thermodynamics. 
This is Kent's Mechanical Engineer book, 11th edition. Wiley used to be a publisher, I don't know if they're still around, a lot of technical books. Kent, and again that's a 1945 book, not quite as thick. Got a neat book plate on the front cover, or front fly page. And this was a Christmas present to Richard with love from his sweetheart. Kind of romantic, isn't it? And here's a sample of table of contents and you can see what some of the topics are. Again, a lot of engineering. But then again, a machinist is an engineer in many ways, is he not? Like we need to know about lubricants and roller bearings and gearing. And here's the Tool Engineers Handbook from the American Society of Tool Engineers, also a McGraw-Hill book. And this one printed in 1952. Recognize that logo? This one apparently never used. A lot of engineering stuff in here again, but look at there. A nice picture of a thread chaser. So you're going to see a lot of interesting topics in these books and are uh, pleasurable paging through them. Not the table so much, but you're going to find a lot of, of pictures of threads and, and uh, lathe parts and things like that. So this is a good book. Let me show you the table of contents. Take a quick gander at this table of contents in this book. You can pause your video if you need to, but you can see that these topics here uh, would interest most of you if you're watching this video. You can see that there's a chapter on engine lathes. A lot of good illustrations. I like those line drawings. Matter of fact, that page looks familiar like it's, yeah, it's from South Bend. I thought I recognized it. It says South Bend right down here. <laughs> That's from how to run a lathe. And then we get into charts and graphs and things like that. Good book. Now this book is from 1991. It is not a machine shop book, but it's interesting. It's called a materials handbook. I got a glare there. But you can see that's been marked down to two bucks. In other words, they had to darn near give it away. The original price here is $74.50. Books are very expensive if you buy a new book. They're just incredibly expensive. But what I like about this book is, well, I better back up to the page of uh, table of contents. Well, there was no good table of contents, but look at some of the topics. Formaldehyde, in case you're going to be an undertaker. Fuel oil. Fuller's Earth. We know what that is. Or do you? Glass. Glass fiber. Graphite. Acids of all kinds, iron, iridium, just about any kind of material you can think of is covered here with uh, several paragraphs or a, a page or two on it. So if you want to know about materials, this is your source. Now let me say something else, that just about everything is available also on the internet. You know you can do a real quick search, but sometimes that runs into a blind alley where they just want you to buy something. I think you realize that. All right, just about everything that's in this whole pile of books has been condensed and is available in the black book. Now, this isn't a promotional, but, you know, th this is a great little book. It's about three quarters of an inch thick, and it's, it's the, the essential things that you need in the machine shop. they got a website, by the way. Remember, they were one of the sponsors of my meet and greet. So go to that website and they make several books. This is the machinery uh, edition but there's also one on fasteners and one on electrical and I think a few others too. So these are great books but you know what what a difference here. You want one book or do you want you know a stack of them? Well I still like both but this is my go-to book lately. Also there were many giveaway books years ago such as these by manufacturers, Morse Twist Drill is just a great little book with with a lot of the things that you can use in your shop. And I like this 
I think Adam's showing this Cleveland book ready reference. Notice that it's spiral bound. I do like the spiral binding because it will lay flat. But here's you know, decimal equivalence, and this is kind of glazed, so it won't. You can wipe it off. Cutting speeds, tap drill sizes, metric information, all kinds of thread information. So th this is a nice book. Drill bits. And I believe that most of you know that companies like Stare and Brown and Sharp were very much into education, but in the back of every one of their catalogs, they had reference tables. You know, a few dozen of the more common ones. Here are decimal equivalents and uh, threads and tap drill sizes, tapers, weights, and all of that. And uh, triangle charts, uh, trigonometry. So, so look in the back of your older catalogs, you're going to find that information. And Starrett had a lot of giveaways. They still do have charts and a few other things, but they were most generous to schools years ago. And I would uh, borrow films from them and get wall charts, which I found to be very useful in teaching high school machine shops. So, hope you enjoyed this real brief video, and if this interests you, keep your eyes open for some of these books at the used book sales. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now.